Today is a big day. Today is my parents' 50th anniversary and we come to check them. Oh yeah. Daddy, mommy. Hello, how are you doing? Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. It's Happy a pleasure to yeah. have you here with us to celebrate yeah, man. on this special day with us. But what is going here? Well, Kim's supposed to be bringing some roti. That's great. I look forward to that for you. Indian sit down, boy. 50 years ago, it would down. have been pilau. 50 years ago, it was Spanish rice. Spanish rice? Spanish rice, potato salad, big chicken. We moved here in 75. That would be how much? That would be... You was never good at matzo. I'm never good at matzo. Don't want IPL matzo. 46. Boy. What do you think? Well, uh, as, as I, I said, I did. Uncle Francis. <laughs> Uncle Francis yes, yes, and sir. Auntie oh, Pearl. Yes, yes. When we moved in here in 75, yes, you, were, you were just about. Well, the same, same day we moved up here. You uh, moved in the morning, morning and we moved, we moved in the evening. What, well, the same day? The same day. Yeah. The same day. Yeah, 1975. And then they stayed a while and they were taking long time to name the street. And I say, well, better they take part of the Batiste name and part of the Pedro. And <laughs> then, as soon as we say that, they come and they, they put the names on the street. Uh, <laughs> Happy yeah. anniversary, darling. Oh, boy, thank you very, oh, very much. Hey. <laughs> <Cool, Gary. laughs> oh, God, oh, look how cool they hug up there, man. Gary got called a good for later. More flowers, you just picking out granny flowers. Hey, so good to see you, girl. You know how long we've eaten on our food? Some of the best Indian food you could eat. It's right, from Kuva. Okay, I, I, I gotta take all of these from you. Go ahead, you let go. Take this one. Hello. Ah, let me pull this. Oh, okay. This back yeah, them pulling a long time. And Curry from Kuva, eh? Curry. So you better big up Kamala and say Kamala. Kamala, big up for you, girl. Thank you very much. We could depend on you, even for we are the most Thank you, thank you. Whose name is Haley? Thank you very much, Kamala. You still wash your clothes, girl? Why? The water pressure was bad. I don't normally wash on a Sunday. And imagine both yet on an anniversary. But boy, the water pressure was so bad. I go need it for you. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good sun out here. So, as a country girl, I like to hang out my clothes in, in the sunlight. Hey. hey, if you know how bad I want to put down a, a clothes line home, eh? It's nothing like when you see sun. sun yeah, nice just, sun just to kind of preserve our old time scene, eh? Yeah. Close clip and thing. Hey, when last time I see her clothes, I know that is my mother, you know. And today she married for 50 years. And imagine her hanging out clothes, washing clothes on me on the first street. Where may I help you? I go you can have my clothes? No, I'm going to clip for you. So you go ahead and put the sheet on it then. <laughs> I love to do this, you know. So it's not like a job, you know, Linda. It's actually pleasurable. Once it's sunny, I like to hang out with my clothes. Oh, that's much better. You're looking at that tea. I take bill too, eh? <laughs> well, boy, especially now. Okay, what are we going on here, girl? Woo! Chalu, which is Chana and Alu. Let me tell you something, right? You see, Kim Mother. What's that water on the ground, eh? Yeah. yeah. Kim Mother could real cook. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Real, real, real cook. Because Thank you very much. Because if it wasn't for this, I wasn't coming down here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Open it up? Yes, please. Mm. There was an extra one she had for her mom. Yeah. That's it. Mm. Eat some Look at wow. So this is. Here we go, girl. Kim, these here. So what do you want to do? Put them one on each other side or what? I think, what do you mean? The two of them? Yeah. Maybe you get through. What? Are they going to kill somebody? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Louise, you should you should take before Eat I take it. Piece, baby. Eat a little piece, baby. Eat little piece, little pieces. We really appreciate Kamala's um. Yes, boy. Kamala's great effort. Thank you. Know, you, know. you want me to? You think already? So Kim, let's give this incredibly lousy joke. No, 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 I can't say no, lousy. That was a good joke. That was a good joke? Oh Alright, Kim, let me hear it and people will judge it. Why did the melon have a giant wedding? Because he can't elope. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this picture, no? Oh, well, when I met Louise, she soon invited me to meet her friend, Wei Dong and Princess Tong. And um, my girl and I went down there, and here we are with a, a man called Mr. Painter. Mr. Painter is a friend of the Cozier family, and it was a great evening, man. All the, we went all through the cane fields in the back of Princess Dong, and, and that's that. I think that I think the dress she's wearing here is the dress I met her at my 21st birthday party. She wear a black dress there with the party. No, it's red. But it's black, black here. It looks black. Oh, is that black and white picture? Oh, well, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't understand I won't tell your grandparents. Uh, when uh, when I was small, uh, if I tried to throw something like that at you, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you, you, you know no more, you can't do that, you're crazy. I can't uh, but your granddaughter come by you. I can't uh, give me your you? phone. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, look out. Nah, you, you lost, she did. She does it again. Baby, It is Sunday, April 11th, 225 p.m. I forgot a bacon tree at home. So I'm heading home to get that bacon tree because my niece wants to bake a cake for granny and grandpa. So we're on our mission right now. Stay tuned. You born and grew up in Cora, and you met mommy in Cora, right? Yeah, the old house that was there back in 1970. The Black Power Revolution, you could call it. And she came to my 21st birthday party. Boy, I was highly attracted to her. She was wearing a lovely red dress, which I showed you in this photograph. Remember this photograph? Yeah, it was a good night. Curfew was supposed to have ended around 7 o'clock. She came up here with um, uninvited. She stormed the little my 21st birthday party but she was a beautiful girl and I thought maybe you know she's a lovely girl but she living too far man working too far living in the carcass I found out she was working right in Port of Spain about four blocks away from the express somebody called asking for honey from BP and I said um, sure my father is a beekeeper and we have honey but how do you know and she said well Louise Batiste who works with us told us about she had, she had been up to this party and she saw a honey for sale sign. I said, Louis, Louis Cozier rather, sorry. I said, Louis Cozier works in Port of Spain. No big joke. Let me talk to this girl. So she came on and I said, how about lunch on Wednesday? So wait, 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 wait. Mommy was tackling in smart or she was really interested in um, honey for this food. Well, let's say she was tackling me. <laughs> <hard. laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me go and check for that bacon tree there. Yeah. So um, I met mommy for lunch that Wednesday. And usually after that, I would walk out. My shift was from 2 to 10 at the Express. I was a sub editor then. And I would walk out around, let's say, around half past 10. Walk this road two miles. Show it on my back. Get to the junction there. Have a little sponge off. Put on my clothes, meet Louis, go for lunch. In those days, a lunch could cost you ten dollars, you know, at a Chinese restaurant. I remember going to see a movie with her. Eh? It was called Daddy's Gone a Hunting. And I said to myself, Lou, today Daddy's Gone a Hunting. <laughs> we got married. Louis decided that we should live in Saint Anne's, and we rented a place there. It was only costing us about. Hmm, a hundred dollars or so a month, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. But it was a pretty big house in St. Anne's. And um, I remember the first dress I gave her for her birthday. A beautiful Christian type dress. But she didn't like it. It was too Christian for her. <laughs> After meeting her in a real red mini. <laughs> that dress was too 
that dress was for the Vatican boy. We moved to Trin City in 1975. We had one little stove at the back of the car there, and that's all the possession we had from having rented a furnished place. And um, at the time, it was just Lisa and Lieber born, and then Lasana was this, born. This Amrizia mask. Oh my, sorry. Yeah, then Lasana was born. The night the, he was due sometime about maybe 11 o'clock in the night and I kept the car and cleaned the little Datsun 1200. We paid $7,500 for that car. And we sold it after five years for $5,000. And that car took a beating between Twin City, Cora, Port of Spain and the carcass. But anyway, the roads were full of potholes, rough, rough pitch. Anyway, that day in particular, the car was spick and span waiting for Lasana's, you know, signs of Lasana's coming. And then the car wouldn't start when it was due for, when labor set in, we, the car wouldn't start. Francis next door had to get into his car and he took us down to Port of Spain. And there Lasana was born in Cascade, Nichols Cascade. Oh my. So, years later, Seven years later, Lyndon, you yourself, my boy, would follow. And um, we did a lot of travels together. We did, we did a lot of country driving together. We went to the beach often. We went to the river up here in Cora. And it was good years. Your mother, your mother is a very decent woman. Decent, hardworking, helpful, thoughtful woman. And I tell you the truth, boy. It was easy to make 50 years with her. Uh, people say, I wish you another 50. But that's a long haul. I don't know if my health would hold on. But I love her. And I'll tell you, love your wives too. Your wife, sorry. Your wife. <laughs> this is my parents. Hey, Dad. Eldest don't child. Don't on not video, you know. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is Garrett Sales by Lisa. <laughs> if ever you're looking for some good deals on Garrett Sales, check, check her out. out. I will put a link to her YouTube, um, Facebook page in the description. Good oh, deals, God. man. And this is the banana bread queen. <laughs> if you're looking chunky monkey, if you're looking for some nice banana bread, that's not too sweet, wholesome banana bread. Check us out on Instagram or let me know, put it like. Yay, hey, chunky monkey! And then we have a slim monkey making some. We're making a parmesan cream sauce. So yes, guys, Kimberly has been stirring non-stop. We have the most amazing parmesan cheese sauce going on here right now, guys. This parmesan cheese that we're making here, you have never seen anything like it on the internet, guys. And hit that button, guys, because guys. You're gonna love this when you see it, guys. Yeah. If it's a trini, you don't call crackers crackers. You don't call crackers tricks. And I remember what you're saying down there. Give her one. Thanks. No, no, Anna. That's not me. Take it. Yeah, but it's can't stop. Or you could use this one. What are you looking for? A dish. It's a fit, it's a fit. I just need to be able to close. Oh. Yeah. You want this one? This one? Yeah. You scoop, yeah. I'll hold. It's potatoes with mushrooms and peas and carrots. Okay. And corn. Okay, and thyme. You? Do you take a lot of time? Yeah, I did. Hello, happy anniversary. This is your bike. Thank you so much for this special evening. You're welcome. You look so gorgeous. Oh Thank my you. goodness. Happy you have me up tight, man. You're a boss, you man. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to stop you in your back room. Oh my.
Oh, 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 Favorite grandson in law. <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. Big time, big time. I am the fifth grandchild of Lance and Louise. And Jenna <laughs> is into, wait, let's call this thing again now. Um, Croquetting? Crocheting. Oh, Crocheting. And Jenna makes these lovely. What is this? It's an octopus. An octopus. Jenna, you're real talented. Thank you. I and you have an Instagram page I and you, you like sell these things, huh? Eh? Yes. Um, my Instagram like is Yan Unhooked. Jeez. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, Hi. right here, right yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Jeez. Jeez. This is all your eldest. Grandchild, yeah. and this is our youngest grandchild here. Oh, oh, this young. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this night. My 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, my I remember this. I remember my. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it feels longer to be married to different people for 50 years? <laughs> or to one person for 50 years? It's really nice if you have been clicking over the years. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yoke together. Not choke together. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers, man. Yeah, well, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Easy pickings. Don't knock yeah, it over. Well, well, you know, while you're coming up the road, Turn away again. Anyway. We don't even have yeah, double digits yet. <laughs> we have a long way to go. How long am I now? Six seven years? Six. 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 Okay, okay. You took up some baby. You put it here? I still I feel like you put it here. I feel like I'm out of this boy. I feel like I have 50 years now, boy. No, no, no. Give her another seat. Show us the day. You want to come to the next time to the family? Come. No, I'm fine. Okay. Eat two pieces of chicken and she fills. Yeah, you can say the first year is the stickiest year of marriage. Yeah, good. Also, the sixth year. She's a happy, cheerful woman, and suddenly she's talking to people. And you're saying, oh my goodness, why is she so friendly to that person? <laughs> <laughs> right? Did they try to do mommy that? I, boy, I was on the verge of doing that. I was on the verge one day, I home with Lisa alone, Lisa was a baby, yeah? Louise will get up, I will make breakfast and have, you know, and then Louise goes to work and I kind of clean up the place as fast as I can. And then I bathe Lisa and I, and I, um, you know, Start cooking because mommy coming home for lunch. And somewhere, like house, that's why, you know. and somewhere <laughs> along here. <laughs> yeah? Nope. <laughs> and boy, I suddenly say, you know something, my wife too friendly, boy. My wife too friendly. You know where that goes, right? My wife is too friendly. And before Louise came home, the little boy said to me, You married a friendly woman. You liked her because she's friendly. <laughs> and she cheerful, you do that, you know, spoil the marriage. Boy, you know. And so they pull me back on the brink of that, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm spoil it. Mm -hmm. Louise is the same Louise I met 50 years ago, you know. Yeah, man, you're a friendly woman who can eat. <laughs> when you see your partner wants to change you and quarrel you into thinking, yeah, yeah. that is not That's trouble, boy, that's real trouble. And next thing we have to know how to be very careful about. There are biological changes that women go through. Perhaps more so than men. And you wake up one morning and you want to touch your wife because you know you're romantic. <laughs> and she said, oh God, darling, I really feel so good you know. She have another man, boy. <laughs> I think today we in a in a worse situation with all these cell phones. You know people talking on cell phones. You really can't keep track of everybody. And if you don't have that explicit trust in your madam, 
and your wife. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's my glass going? Right there. <laughs> 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 But after 50 years, you can't find this room, so. 